Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. I grew up in a very traditional Chinese family. My dad came from China. My mom was born in Palawan. Hard work was really part of our culture. When I was five years old, yung mga alam ng Chinoy na tinatawag na kotiam. So for those who doesn't know, ano ang kotiam? Nagbabantay kami ng tindahan. So after school, where all my classmates now can play and study. Ako hindi pwede. After school, I have to kotiam or watch our store. I give the change and talk to people. I really didn't like this. I really would like to grow up like a normal child. I really would like to go to the mall, watch a movie. But had it not been for this training of my parents, I would not be where I am today. This is because of the values my parents taught me hard work at a very young age of five. I'm Pinky Petobiano, a CEO, entrepreneur, chemist, and the founder of Pinky Cares Foundation. our office. Ayan. This is Mags, of course. She's my social media handler and Anya, my executive yeah, assistant yeah. who makes life so beautiful for me. This is my daughter. So, hi. Hi. Oh, and welcome to my desk. This is my office. This is where I started. Everything will move, but they said this is the luckiest place in this property, so I'm always here on this desk. Ever since I was five, I was in the poultry supply of my parents. My work there is to sell medicines, right? medicines for chicken, for fighting cocks, for pigs, for dogs. I said, someday, I'm going to make the best medicines ever going to be. I want to be the best chemist ever. My parents didn't want me to be a chemist because they said, there's no money in chemistry. Just take up business and get married. I said, no. I want to pursue my passion. I really made sure I had good grades. I was a dean's lister, consistent. I finished with honors. I even taught high school chemistry in Immaculate Conception Academy in Green Hills just to make sure I had extra allowance because I want to show my parents and I want to show the world being a chemist will also give you a lot of rewards. When I got married, first I joined the, my ex-husband's family business, but I wasn't really happy because I wasn't doing what I wanted. So my parents gave me my dowry. In Chinese, it's like a ketsung. So he said, Ayana, it's your lab. My dad built it for me. And the rest was, was up to me. Welcome to Progressive Laboratories, which is my childhood dream that is now a reality. So here, so this is a film coater, so it films sugar coats, tablets. Since I was a child, gusto ko talagang gumawa ng tablets for animals. Hello, hi. 
Hi, say hello. So here, tignan nyo, di ba? So this is multivitamin tablet for pigs and chicken. Okay, I would like to show you, this is, when I started, ito pa lang meron ako eh. So here, makita mo iba pang color ng room, medicated line. So hello! Diba, ito ang department na masarap balikan eh. Because this allows me to remember my humble beginnings, how I started out. So makita mo iba talaga oh. When I started out, I only had three people. I don't even have a machine to make medicines. I have to do it manually. I cannot even open the aircon because I need to make sure I have money to pay the electricity. I have to deliver the medicines in the truck. I had to drive the truck. And what's tough is it was a male-dominated industry. I was the only female in Chinese spa. So that time, I really had to show them being a woman, a Chinese woman, is not a disadvantage, but I make it work to my advantage. I had to excel. 26 years ago, this area, I was pregnant. This is how I started this area. I was pregnant after giving birth. Napakahirap nun. We are three people only. Now we're barely 500 employees. Yan, simple lang. I sat beside a person in the plane and I love to talk. That's maybe that's one of my assets. And I'm very friendly and I asked him, hey sir, why are you going to the Philippines? And he said, because the company that makes our medicine, and I said, medicine, ting ting, medicine already, right? Animal medicine is on strike. I said, wow, really? I can make you another medicine, like another veterinary factory or laboratory and maybe he was just looking I was 26 at the time just gave birth to my ALS disorder 24 and I give, gave him my calling card after two weeks I received a phone call in my landline wala pa masyadong cell phone there was some cell phone and he said hi are you still serious about that I said yes are you really going to make me another laboratory or to help me I said sir yes I said yes without really knowing if I had enough funds. I was very lucky my dad and my mom really helped me. And I also loaned a little from the bank. Then I didn't even have formal business schooling. And he suggested, Pinky, if you really want to partner with us, then you need to take your Harvard Business School. By God's grace, in two years, I paid up all my loan. I paid up my dad by the time, and the company grew, and we were starting to make medicines for one of the world's largest multinational company, and we started to export our veterinary medicine. Traditional Chinese business are micromanaging. And what I did differently is I professionalized my work. I now have managers to help me run my work. I now have a computer system. I already have an ERP or enterprise system that, so I could grow the business more. Times are changing, you need to evolve. What may work before may not work anymore in the future. Now you have to grow. Kaya nga how the Schumarts, how the Seas made it because they professionalized and that's what I want to do. So 
for every manufacturing, the heart is a quality assurance department. So let me take you. So hello everyone. This is a team of scientists. Can you say hi? Doreen, how long are we together? 20 grateful years. 20 grateful years. Okay, bye. For me, what defines leadership? A good leader makes sure from the day your employee joined you until this very day, their life has to transform and become better. That's a good lead. You grow together. You give back to your employee. Hindi ikaw lang. Dapat tayong lahat. You know what really inspires me is the people working in the company. It's not only the people, but the families who they provide for, the meals on the table they provide. That inspires me every day, especially this pandemic. I really think of ways to innovate, to be resilient, to make it sustainable for everyone in the lab. I'm very proud to say we were intact. No one has to be gone during the pandemic. I really prayed so hard, I worked so hard that we are all together. We're a family. I guess that's what I learned from being raised up by traditional Chinese parents. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center Progressive Laboratories SM Super Malls, Waters Philippines, Evergreen Cereal, AgriPro, Premier Nutrition Incorporated, Global Diesel and GU Engineering, H&E Manufacturing Corporation, Veco Paper Corporation, Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation, Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Japan Parts Trading Center. Pinturado Seliado Protectado Sigurado, AquaGuard Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint. Chua Beng Teng. Alejandro Ko. Jimmy C. Nung Family. Enrique Chua. Chan Kwan. Wu Chongzhen. Li Pue Chin. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Welcome to Qualibet Testing Services. It's our testing facility. So here, welcome. So we'd like, buksan natin yung light. So this is our instrumentation room where we can analyze. So, hi, Nika. So, she's just in the phone. So, we call this a high-pressure liquid chromatography. We can analyze anything that's in a tablet, in a substance, and in drugs. So, this is Nika, one of our chemists. So, here, very high-tech. So, we can see impurities in your cosmetics, your food, or any medicines. So, ayan. In 2004, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. That was enough heartbreak to break my life, my parents' life. After two months, I was diagnosed with cancer myself. So open the light. I was rushing to the airport because I have a Chinese supplier. I have to go to a business trip. I fell down the flight of stairs and I hit my head. Then I went to have my CT scan MRI. By accident, the scan went a little overboard my neck. So then they found out that I had a node. When they biopsy, I had cancer. So hello. Yeah, and so this is our lab. Then the first person I told was um, actually my dad. And my dad was suffering enough because that was the day my mom also had her chemo, then I had cancer. 
When I went home, I had to tell my kids, and they still, my daughter was 10. I saw the fear in her eyes, but I grew so thin, so frail, and I'm always in the hospital, so I never knew how life was then, seeing my kids when I leave the door, that they would say, Mom, are you still coming home? I said, of course, Mom's coming home, because it's just the three of us. It was so traumatic, and I would never want my kids to experience that pain again. My entire journey of cancer, I've never blamed anyone. Even though I was having the greatest lesson that I never gave up because I have a company to run. While even having radiation in the hospital, that same day, pabalik ako ng office, I make sure. So my motivation is my family, my two daughters, and my employees. I have to be sure. This is true. In St. Luke's, while having my radiation, nakaswera ko, I'll bring my whole man come there. Nagmi-meeting pa kami. It was one of the toughest times of my whole family. By God's grace, I'm totally healed. I'm cancer-free, and so is my mom. After battling cancer, I said, I started another company, which is Qualibet Testing Services. Because cancer, being a chemist, it comes from the food we eat, from the water we drink, or from all the trans fat, all the chemicals. So I started Qualibet Testing Services, meaning quality is better. As you notice in most of my walls, I have inspirational verses that I write to inspire my team to always be positive. Despite all the problems you have, be positive. So this, if your action inspire others to dream more and become more, you are a leader. It's Tuesday once again, and we're going to help a lot of displaced GP workers here in Katipunan share some love, some blessings to all of them. Join us! One of the things I've learned, especially from my ama and my angkong, ama means grandmother in Chinese, angkong means grandfather. My angkong was very active in the Filipino Chamber of Commerce, especially for the Malabon Chamber of Commerce when he was still alive. I would see how he transformed lives, how he helped a lot of Filipinos and also native China. This inspired me to be able also to give back in my own little way. For the past 35 years, when my ama passed away, I've been helping Golden Acres Home for the Aged, which housed 362 abandoned lolos and lolas until the, this very day. And this is Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. I really want to make a difference. I guess everybody wanted to. And the day of the week that I'm most joyful for is on a Tuesday because I gave birth to my second daughter on a Tuesday. So for me, every Tuesday is a grateful Tuesday. Every week, we help 100 families full meal. My friends have been so graceful, very generous to be helping me out. Then it became an online platform with Cornerstone Entertainment. For me, giving back is really very important to me because that's the value I want my children to learn. It's not always what you have, it's also sharing what you may have in excess. Oh, yeah. Grateful Tuesday! Like I always say, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. So for me, my life itself is a miracle because of being so grateful. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Canis Prime Adult Dog Food. 
feed them with love. Waters Philippines PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin Evergreen Cereal AgriPro Premier Nutrition Incorporated Global Diesel and GU Engineering H&E Manufacturing Corporation Beko Paper Corporation Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Ford Tractor Philippines Your long-term agriculture partner Pinturado Seliado Protectado Sigurado AquaGuard Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint Chua Beng Teng Alejandro Ko Jimmy C Enrique Chua Nung Family Wu Chongzhen Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. We grew up in, in Pasadena, in Los Angeles. Um, my, my dad decided uh, after taking his MBA in Chicago that it would be a, a, a experience to raise his family out in the US. My dad has always been the hardest working guy I know. And um, that's something that uh, has really stuck with me ever since I was a kid. I think I didn't appreciate it nearly as much, uh, you know, watching it as it was a kid growing up. And of course, want to spend more time with your dad. But um, at the same time, it's become very clear to me over time, you know, in terms of why he put in so much effort. And it, it, it certainly wasn't just for his benefit. I really look at Ninja Van as a, as a big family. There's more than six, 7,000 of us currently. And all, all the same, you know, I think that that aspect of community and feeling like it's more than just a job, right? That if we can take good care of each other, take good care of the business, then the business in turn can take really good care of us. I think important of those challenges was really rethinking our, our entire operating model, how we do business, to ensure that we were operating safely, taking good care of our people, taking good care of the people that we're delivering packages to. Nintrifan has always been built on a strength of, of, of technology, really. Technology is the backbone of everything that we do. So thankfully, through our partners, most especially Globe Business, we've been able to ensure a very high standard of connectivity all across our network, uh, ranging everything from our, our hard lines at our stations in order to communicate with our stations and ensure that our, our, our uh, facilities have the necessary connectivity to operate our platform, as well as to our riders at the last mile level and ensuring that our phones are, are, are kept um, connected and that our riders can continue to update the statuses of their parcels in real time. Small businesses have always been the lifeblood of our economy. Filipinos as entrepreneurs has always been something that I think has been very prevalent part of our national identity. And just like in Japan, I think I would encourage everyone to 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 keep keep moving. Right, um, life changes. You're playing an important role in terms of sustaining yourself, sustaining the economy, and ultimately ensuring that we can see this pandemic through to hopefully the light at the other side. Hi, I'm Martin Ku, country head of Ninja Van Philippines. Through the changing times, tuloy tayo SMEs. So sabi ni Ambet Ocampo, the word in Chick now is not negative in the past, pero nobody wants to use it lang. Even yung label na in Chick, I also don't use that because of the connotations that it carries. Historically, it comes from the Malay word na in Chick, which refers to like your uncle or your cousin or something. But it also has roots in the Minanhua language or Hokkien, which is 
more commonly spoken in the local community, Nadine Chak. Because when the earliest immigrants came, diba, there was a language barrier. They couldn't understand one another. And presumably, when they were asking one another, what do I call you? The earliest Chinese must have said, Din Chak, which means your uncle, Din Chak. Over the years, Din Chak became In Chik, and then In Chik became In Chik Beho Tululaway, which is yung racist na derogatory term against the Chinese in the Philippines. When you had to really work hard for rice on your, on your plate, you do what needs to be done. It's used as a derogatory term, what, in Chik Beho Tulu Laway, because you had these Chinese shopkeepers. They worked them by themselves the whole day in their storefront until late at night. But there's that stereotype na, ah, he's falling asleep at his store, kaya tumutulo yung laway niya. From something that was supposed to evoke superiority, bigla siya naging negative. People don't really use that anymore, but in the instance that they do, I answer and tell them that that is not a pejorative. It is a recognition by you of how hardworking these people were. I remember John Gokonga Jr. telling me, uh, for the past, like, 1,000 years in the Philippines, huh? all the best entrepreneurs now, sabi niya, were first-generation immigrants. And guess what? They all succeeded. So, you know, when you, you, when you say, ah, in Chik Beho, Tulu, Laway, you are actually recognizing those values that they had. Hard work, discipline, fortitude, sacrifice, you're acknowledging all these values of these people. And they're now so successful, all these you know, tycoons saying they're in the Forbes list and everything. Look back at where they started. And you could call them in Chikbeho Tululaway. For me, it's really important to pass down the value of giving back. I would like to share the values of Chinoy to everyone watching. Today is the start of your new life. Just have a dream and pursue. And all Chinois out there, I'm very proud to be one with you, creating a positive impact in the Philippines. Chinoy TV would like to thank. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy was brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmer's hard work and dedication in every grain. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia-Pacific.